Alright, good morning everybody. It's your boy Akeen and welcome to today's NFL vlog. Finally getting back to my scout reports for the 2014 NFL Draft. Today, I need to talk about quarterback Zach Mettenberger out of LSU. Now, he's been catching a lot of attention for the past recent weeks um, headed towards this year's draft because of his impressive workout at LSU. A lot of analysts, including ESPN's own Ron Jaworski, has now added him within their personal top five quarterbacks headed towards this year's draft. Now, I personally disagree with them, and I will explain why a little bit later on. But let's talk about this kid. He's actually hailing from Wakensville, Georgia. He was one of the top recruits coming out of the state of Georgia, and then decided to go to UGA, staying within state, and going to Athens. Now, he registered back, back in 2009, and in 2012, March of 2012, he was arrested for a sexual assault, as well as a uh, alcohol consumption case, in which he was finally dismissed from the team by head coach Mark Rip. Now, in 2012, 2011, he decided to play for junior college at Butler Community College before enrolling to LSU. Now, LSU, he had one good this past season. He had an impressive year back in 2012. That was his first year, starting to get things back into back into place. And finally, when he was under the tutelage of Cam Cameron, he finally busted out this past season with over 3,000 yards, 22 touchdowns, and eight interceptions overall. A very well impressive season. I was actually looking forward to seeing how he would perform during his pro day, but during that final game of the regular season, he actually tore his ACL against Arkansas. Now, let's talk about his strength and weaknesses. Starting with his strengths, he does definitely look the part at quarterback at 6'5", 230 pounds. He's tall. He also has a well-developed, strong arm. He has a rocket arm in which um, NFL teams lust for. Great rocket arm in which he can even throw opposite of the field to the other hash. Great, um, great um, arm overall. Now, this season, he displayed great presence within the pocket in which he stood well tall and he kept his eyes down the field and he even has some um, a mental uh, uh, he also has some good uh, uh, vision to deliver passes and even in tight coverages that's what I did like most about him he, he worked, worked well under pressure and I did like his mental toughness overall he even stepped up to, in, into his passes understanding and knowing that defenders are coming after him and even un, even have the mental toughness and physical toughness to take the hit which he did now, even in that um, um, that uh, ACL uh, tear against Arkansas, he completed a 32-yard pass to Jarvis Landry, and I still think that was a little bit impressive. He understood that he is going to take a hit. He's going to have to deal with a lot of pressure, but he still steps up into, into, into the pocket and passes for a 32-yard um, gain before it ended with a knee injury. Now, other, uh, other things I do like about him, he throws well into traffic, and like I said, he does well throwing into tight coverages, and the game that I love most about him was the game this past season against Alabama at Tuscaloosa. He had a great game, 243 yards passing and only one touchdown, but he was working the ball pretty well, driving the ball well down the field against a good Alabama defense. Now let's talk about his weaknesses and how I'm going to rate this quarterback overall where I grade him for this year's draft. His weaknesses, he doesn't really, he needs to work on his mobility. Yes, he uh, he has some mental toughness and physical toughness, but he needs to work on his mobility. He's very heavy footed and which means he has a hard time avoiding getting hit and that's going to be very key, especially coming back from a torn ACL. Now he also must improve his pre-snap recognition and understanding where of, of, of the pressures are coming from and in order to quicken his uh, delivery and passes. Now, I mentioned the ACL. He needs to... Um, um, um he needs to um, just stay healthy. He did have a good workout, but durability issues is key because of that torn ACL and even his overall confidence. His confidence did not really build up until this past season under the tutelage of Cam Cameron. And with that torn ACL, he needs to just redefine that confidence and get it back, get everything back into shape and, um, coming towards the NFL. Now, one thing I did notice about his particular this team playing for LSU, he had a lot of weapons around him. And Jarvis Landry, I mentioned before, Odell. Beckham, another top receiver headed towards this year's draft, as well as a good running back and Jeremy Hill. Well developed um, players around him, and he also had a pretty strong offensive line, so he benefited from that, and that is a little bit of a downgrade, a downgrade for me, because we don't really know how well he could perform with a terrible offensive line, which is going to be very key. Like I mentioned before, in videos before, the Cleveland Browns have their eyes on um, Zach Mettenberger, possibly in the second round, if they decide to go with Sammy Watkins, with their 
first round selection, and be, be, because they um have a different um set alignment, he might have a hard time adjusting in the National Football League, but not such a great talent around him. But they can still rebuild overall for the Cleveland Browns. Now he also I mentioned his past history. He been arrested back in 2010. Some maturity issues is a little bit question, but he did mature a lot for recent seasons, especially this past year. But one thing I do um, I, I did notice about him is that he is very very quiet he has a quiet demeanor which demeanor which is a little bit of a concern for me because I don't know how he really acts in the huddle. His chain of command, his vocal leadership, and in order for you to play the quarterback position in the National Football League, I believe that you need to be more of a vocal leader, and that is what he lacks. He needs to step it up a little bit, put his presence felt, have his presence felt in that huddle, and have his teammates to believe in him. Now, he did show me that this past year, but overall, his vocal leadership, not really hearing too much about him, and that is a little bit of concern for me. So, overall, Overall, because of those weaknesses, I would have to grade him a late third round pick of this year's draft. Now, I believe he's going to be picked within the second round because a lot of the hype that he's been getting for the past couple of weeks. But I think he, I have to grade him a late third round, mainly because of the torn ACL. He has to come back from that. His confidence overall, don't know if he's going to get that confidence back because of that torn ACL. It's going to be favoring his knee a lot more and his demeanor. I think he doesn't really show too much that he's a big time leader. And I think that the quarterback position, you are technically the captain of the team. You need to be more of a vocal leader for your teammates overall and those were major concerns for me and that's why I had to rate him a late third round pick even though he does have the intangibles and throwing the football pretty well um, at, uh, um he has a strong rocket arm. He does look the part. He has the size, the prototypical size you want it as a quarterback. And he did play in a pro-style offense for the Louisiana State Tigers. He had a great year, but still has a lot of work to do. And he only had one particular great year this past season in college football throughout his career. A little bit of a concern for me. And that's why I have to rate him, rate, rate him as a late third-rounder for this pick. Now, the next something to catch you guys is later on today, I'm going to talk about pick number 19 of the 2014. NFL draft belonging to the Miami Dolphins as well as I'm going to continue on with the next couple weeks with more scouting reports for you guys and get back in touch with that particular department as well. Thank you for watching today's blog from Pro Football Exclusive. I'm your man Akeem McCall. Be easy.